All right, the AMC Gremlin. Let's get to work and let's see what we can do with this. Obviously voted to one of the ugliest cars of all time in a lot of different uh, magazines and stuff. But to me, I mean, yes, it's not very beautiful. You can definitely not say that it's a beautiful car, I would say. But still, it's a very unique and cool, definitely cool looking car. So what we're going to do in this video is modernize it. And we're going to focus very much on graphic design with this redesign. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean here. Since it has such a unique shape, it looks like a sedan or a station wagon that just has been clean chopped off by a sword or something in the rear. And that creates this cool shape. And I want to even put more, uh, you know, put that shape into focus more by using graphic design so what we're going to do here first of all delete these bumpers and uh, the old school chrome and update the entire shape of it so they but, but by shape i mean the outline of it the details make them more modern and uh, remove everything that doesn't fit in in today's car design so the handle right here we're going to move that we're going to remove this thing right here this list that goes around the window all of that is going to uh, be removed we're going to upgrade or update the uh, list that goes around here as well. The graphics, going to update that as well. The wheels, going to put some other wheels on here that fits the uh, today's cars more, but still have some sort of retro feel to it. But now when it comes to graphic design, so the cool thing about this car, when you look at it in side view, I think side view is probably the most unique angle for this car. And I want to, I want to put a, a graphic list, if you want to call it that, that goes up here and all the way around here and then follows down here and into an integrated bumper right here. So this is going to be a chamfered edge that goes that you can follow all around the car and kind of puts more emphasis on the C pillar which is massive on the AMC Gremlin so this pillar right here I want to keep it that thick but we are going to have to break it up somehow with some graphics or maybe some air intake here because this surface it's too big of, of a surface where nothing goes on so it kind of makes the C pillar boring I think that's probably why they added some graphic designs in here and also this graphic right here uh, I also want to add some other graphic down here that kind of goes into the rear fender so we have a line that goes like this and then bumps up right here so kind of as you if as if you took this graphic design here copied it and just shrunk it and made it shorter we want to have kind of a uh, a mirrored image of that graphic that goes lower here and that in itself will create the rear fender for the car and obviously the rear lights are going to change. I want to keep the uh, black part right here, deck lid. Uh, and also maybe not have rectangular rear lights. Maybe have something other than that. Something cool uh, that goes like this. Maybe even a light bar that goes across the whole thing. Just to put some uh, emphasis on the width of the car. And make it look a little bit wider than it actually is. Not that the Gremlin needs it. Because it's a compact car that's still as wide as a muscle car and a sedan of the time. And last but not least. We're going to remove these exhaust tips right here. Integrate them more into the body and make it modern looking. So that's about it. Let's jump in to the actual redesign of this car now. And let's see what we can do with this AMC Gremlin. And how this is going to turn out. The AMC Gremlin was introduced in 1970, manufactured and marketed in a single two-door style body in the US from 1970 to 78, as well as in Mexico from 74 to 78. It was based on a shortened Hornet platform with a pronounced almost vertical tail. The Gremlin was classified as an economy car by 1970s US standards and competed with the Chevy Vega and Ford Pinto. The small domestic automaker marketed the Gremlin as the first American-built import. The Gremlin reached a total production of 671,475 cars over a single generation. The idea for the Gremlin began in 1966 when design chief at American Motors Richard A. Teague and stylist Bob Nixon discussed the possibility of a shorter version of AMC's compact car. 
It all started when Teague on a flight took an air sickness bag and sketched down a shortened version of the Javelin. Bob Nixon later joined the AMC as a 23 year old and did the first formal design sketches in 67 for the car that was to become the Gremlin. Ford and General Motors were to launch new subcompact cars for 1971, but AMC did not have the financial resources to compete with an entirely new design. So what they did is they took Teague's idea and took the Javelin and cut it up to create the AMX GT concept, which was shown in the New York International Auto Show in April in 1968. This version did not go into production, but the AMX name was used from 68 to 70 on a shortened two-seat sports car built from the Javelin. Instead, Bob Nixon's AMC's future chief of design designed the new subcompact based on the automaker's Hornet model, a compact car. The design reduced the wheelbase and the overall length, making the Gremlin two inches longer than the Volkswagen Beetle and shorter than the Ford Pinto and Chevy Vega. Capitalizing on AMC's advantage as a small car producer, the Gremlin was introduced on April 1st, 1970 and was rated a good buy at an economical price. The car was available as a base two passenger version with no rear seat and a fixed rear window at a suggested retail price of $1,879 and that in today's money is around $12,500. From the front of the car to the B-pillars, the Gremlin was essentially the same as the AMC Hornet. Although it was only fractionally longer than the contemporary Volkswagen Beetle, time said that length of the hood over the front mountain engine made the difference seem considerably more, adding that the car resembles a sawed-off station wagon with a long, low hood and swept up rear, and it's faintly reminiscent of the original Studebaker Avanti. As with Volkswagen, the Gremlin styling set it apart from other cars. Time Magazine said, like some other cars of less than standard size, the back seat is designed for small children only. The Gremlin's wider stance gave it a stable, quiet and relatively comfortable ride for the two front passenger, for whom, by small car standards, there was more than average interiors width seat room and leg room. The upright design of the tail, which enlarged the interior space, was aerodynamically efficient. Later on, European and Japanese manufacturers jumped on this trend to create really compact cars by taking existing cars and chopping them up and making them shorter. For example, like Volkswagen did with the Jetta and the Golf models. So the Gremlin was designed by Teague to either look cute or controversial, depending on one's viewpoint, obviously. For many, it seems to be the perfect car for the free-thinking early 1970s. And American Motors didn't really care about the name Gremlin, because some people thought that it might have some negativity attached to it. And Teague himself said that nobody would have paid any attention to it, if it had looked like one of the big three automobiles. So American Motors ended up promoting the Gremlin as cute and different. And the marketing strategy was successful with more than 60% of buyers being under 35 years old. So there we have it guys, that's the redesign or modernization of the AMC Gremlin. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making this. Pretty fun project and a lot of graphic design, kind of have the lines go into each other. What I wanted to do with this is basically have, uh, create the lines so that if, if you follow one line, for example, you can see the fender line, it goes into the air outlet or whatever that is behind the B pillar or behind the greenhouse. That's the same line and that line continues with that triangle that you have that goes up to the roof line. And that in itself emphasizes the weirdness of the AMC Gremlin even more. And that's exactly what I wanted to do with this redesign. I didn't want to clean it up. I didn't want to make it into a beautiful looking car. That's not the point of this redesign. The point is to modernize it and see what it might have looked like if you used modern manufacturing methods to rebuild this car today. So that's about it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, hit the like button. That really means a lot to me. Thank you so much in advance for doing that. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.
Do you want to learn how to sketch cars and products? Check out my online courses in the description below where you'll learn everything from the basic tools to use, analog sketching with pen, paper and markers, digital sketching using Photoshop and a tablet, you also get downloadable resources and templates and so much more. For those of you who aspire to one day work as a designer, I'll even walk you through each page and structure of my two portfolios that got me into a master's degree in car design in Italy and got me my first job as an industrial designer right here in Florida. All courses are 100% online, which means that you can access the courses at any time from anywhere. Click the link below in the description to learn more. I'll see you on the inside.